Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna do my unboxing and first impressions thing with this Catalan Bread Cloak, which I believe is some sort of shimmer reverb. Comes with a really cool looking sticker. Look at that, all holographic. Another sticker. Pedal in a bag, so it's nice and fresh. When did the pedal bag thing start? Is there any sort of manual in here? There's the pedal. No manual. Who was the first person to go, you know what? I'm gonna put my pedal in a bag. And that's how I'm gonna sell it. So what do we have here? Room size, mix, high cut, and shimmer. It is a shimmer reverb. It takes nine to 18 volt DC. So I'll probably start it off on nine volt and uh, Later on, I'll plug in the 18 volt and see if that makes a difference. Sometimes it makes a difference. Sometimes it buys you, you know, some headroom in the EQ range or something like that. I'm gonna use one of my little rubber sticky guys here to hold it to the table so it doesn't slide around. These are technically meant to hold cell phones to dashboards. I learned this trick from Henning Polly. Thank you, Henning. And I did a little prep. I thought before running, you know, a reverb pedal would be nice to have some dirt. So I've got the bigger pedal, Stevis and Burkhead here, a limited run. You can't buy them anymore, but I figured, hey, let's have some fun. Let's play the Stevis and Burkhead. It's kind of a modified two screener. And for a fuzz, I've got the Jupiter FX Warlow, which is a modified muff sort of concept. I'm gonna start off with my Fender Jagstang here because I haven't played it in a video in a while, and I actually really enjoy playing this guitar. So I figured Shimmer Reverb, why not? What could go wrong? Why not use the Jag Sting? I still have my, uh, my Jazzmaster trim bar <laughs> installed in this, which is hilariously tall and long. I really need to modify this. I love the length of this bar with the Jag Sting, but man, it is, it is way too tall. I need to trim like an inch off of that. All right. Also, I'll be running through my two Princeton's rig. There you go, that's enough of that. Am I in tune? I like that, that's pretty. All right, let's dive into this thing and figure out what it does, what it sounds like. It's definitely got some sort of shimmery octave thing going on there. Room size, let's max it out. High cut. So it takes all the highs out. Might as well max out the shimmer while we're here.
All right, let's take the shimmer all the way out. See what it sounds like as just a regular reverb. Max it out. That sounds like what the art looks like. something a bit more <laughs> subtle normal maybe might be the word mm -hmm. I'm peaking the mics a bit aren't I there we go that's better let's try it with a little bit of drive I'll try that next single. size up. thing there. Got a metal drum sound there. sounds with it. But then you can dial in some sort of wild, long shimmer reverb too. with the fuzz.
I'm sure I cut a bunch of that out because I've been noodling <laughs> for a while. Um, but I'm really glad that high cut is there. It allows you to get some really maxed out shim reverb sounds, but there's like this high pitched kind of like scream, screaming resonance that uh, can kind of get away from you. Especially with fuzz before it. Yeah, it's really bright and really like ear piercing and like floating and bouncing around the room, which is kind of fun, but you might not want that all the time. So being able to dial back the highs is pretty useful. Did the guitar really stay in tune after all that? It's not perfect, but it's close. Jeez. Man, I did some major dives and it was really close to being in tune. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's nothing to do with the cloak, which I'm impressed with too. I mean, I don't use shimmer reverb all the time, but it sounds like a really decent hall reverb when you pull out the shimmer and then you've got the option there. You can max out that shimmer and do your volume swells and get some really fun ambient soundscapey stuff sorts of going on. Uh, it's moody, it's spooky, throw some chorus in before that or you know some pitch bends and stuff like that. guys think shimmer reverb specialists out there is this a good shimmer reverb i want to know you tell me i mean i've used shimmer reverbs and i enjoy them it's just not like a core feature of you know my day-to-day -day sound <laughs> that more pulled back sound, even though it was technically still a shimmer, like I could use that a lot and people wouldn't really even realize that it's a shimmer really. It's got this fun dimensionality to it.
technically it has the shimmer on it, but because it's pulled back a bit, like it's not, it's not hitting you over the top of the head like this. brings in that little bit of like magic and mystery. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about?
little something for all the noise and doom lovers out there, right? That was cool. And it is spooky. I mean, that takes an already heavy signal. And makes it super spooky. What do you guys think? I want to know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Click all the links to go check. <laughs> I thought I was done. I pulled all the uh, all the cards out of the cameras and I was, I was heading to go edit and I realized I didn't I didn't test the 18 volt. So I'll do that right now. We'll stay on the baritone. <laughs> Boy, do I feel silly. So. So that has been nine volt. I have 18 volt options on my power brick over here. So I'll plug it into one of those. That's a fun sound. <laughs> I always get nervous when I plug into the 18 volt because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget that I did that and then fry some other pedal down the line. I was checking to see if there's any sort of momentary function on this that I missed, but it doesn't seem like there is. but it might have bought more fidelity to the signal. Let's go back to nine volt. might buy more EQ headroom or something like that. I might just be imagining it, but it does sound a little bit richer and lusher. And you know, it's got more kind of like low mid frequencies bouncing around in there. the real ending. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you guys think about this? I honestly want to know. There might be some of you out there who are shimmer reverb specialists. Does this check all the boxes for you? Does it sound new and unique in some sort of way? I want to know. It sounds great to me. It does a great job of dialing in 
a really kind of like spooky and dark and mystical and pretty sort of sound. And of course, you can treat it like a regular Hall Reverb as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. And you know what? Stay grounded. Bye, everybody.